and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich mod as the United States of North America. Well, I'm working on it. I'm almost there. I just got this little annoying hat on top of me I gotta take care of and a little bit of thing around my penis, but what the hell? I can't monetize anymore anyway, so penis, 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 penis. That's not very mature. Anyways, let's get this bad boy rolling. What the hell did I do? Oh, that's something I did in between videos. I started a lend lease with the Philippines. Which, if you remember the last video, lend leasing didn't work out very well for me. But I'm just getting rid of some of my uh, obsolete equipment on the Philippines. I went ahead and gave Eisenhower orders. Oh. The independence of the Philippines. What? Wait a minute now. Time out. United States removes puppet from Republic of the Philippines. I wouldn't want to do that. Is it a bug? Did I do this? Huh? We have exiled divisions. Yes, we do now. Attention. I've got to bring them someplace else. Why would I do give the Philippines independence? That doesn't make any sense, yo. I don't have anyone here. A Johnston at all? Well, now you guys got a job. I have a horrible resources deficit. Look at that. 110 steel, 3 rubber, 5 aluminum. I tried to say aluminum and aluminium at the same time. It didn't work out very well for me. And 37 chromium. Horrible. Ready, sir. Absolutely horrendous. All right. I, it's all your guys in place. Yes, they are. I'm not going to bother to train you. Because, to be honest, I can't give him entrenchment. I don't have enough support equipment. I need, like, 3,000. I don't have nowhere near enough. Attention. Attention. I did bring the divisions that were in Panama up to here. and uh, So I could cut down this army's front some. But since it's only nine divisions, I only gave them a little bit of peace. I do think they have cut back, so they're up to something again someplace else. Hey, sir. Brought a couple divisions down to here. Move out. All of this is impassable now. That's the only place that you can pass, so Move out. We're gonna defend that and defend the port. And we are going to cancel. I already gave them a hundred damn But they do love me. I can't create a faction with them. I don't have a national spirit to do it. Whatever. They have already taken. Can I cancel that? Yes I can. I'm going to have to take that shit back. Well, at least I got my ships back. Now I don't give a damn what you think of me anymore. Commands? I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and stop making garrison divisions now. I think I will.
I wanted to put engineer companies in all of our infantry and just can't do it. It's not possible. Did I ever send a garrison unit over here? I did. Alright, set one there, there, there. I think I got everything else pretty well covered. Right, let's send some P40s there. Since I still haven't built P38s, I don't have any spare naval bombers. So that sucks. Yeah, I do. Boost it up to a hundred, and boom. I think we can go to war with Panama now. Yes, we can. Havana. I need eight more political power. Okay. Actually, I'm probably going to need more than eight more. The Realm of Peru. When I go to war with these assholes for the aluminum, that's going to tick off the British. The Canadians. Who are actually the British. What's left of the British. The British that didn't go communist. And it's 1943. And we're at peace. Peace is so beautiful. I don't want to go to war too soon, though. And I'll tell you why, right here. Insufficient resources. We know if we occupy, when we occupy, Cuba. It's going to cost us political power. Engineer Company 3 is done. Let's do Maintenance Company 2. Because I know we got enough work to do that. Alright, let's... Uh, it's 44. Let's just do the Lightning. There, we can build the Mitchell now, which increased our deficit. How is our line going? Where are we at? We're still in Montana. But all of this is done. And they fold their divisions out once I start working on a defensive line. That's typical. I was worried I might have a problem holding the line. And when they like, oh, don't worry. We're not going to threaten you. I do need to add one more to the line right here. That one's going to be a serious one. What is that? That's five. Because it's only going to be that one garrison division. What the hell is this? A fleet? The USN Seattle fleet? I missed that. Okay. Let's send you guys down the coast. 
S ammunition is done. The team lore class is done. Search and destroy. Here. Here. And here. Make sure no one gets too close to us. I should give them a commander. They're a decent size. Celebrate the 4th of July. Seattle fleet. I'm just going to give one him. Yeah, most of my fleets don't have commanders. Okay, we'll just do this then. That's my bad. What year is that? 44? I don't want to work it early. So what we'll do is... We're already working on that. We're working on that. Did we... No, we did not. That. Artillery. So we can't do that. We do, however, have one day. Perfect. That's also one day. Definitely, let's increase our heart attack. Trying to build up political power. I could just start declaring against Cuba, though. Attention! Orders! Yes, sir! Oh, now. Attention. Attention. All in. Go to MacArthur. And go to the port. I'll put two divisions there. Just to make sure they can't push into Alaska. And let's start declaring against Cuba. Conquer Havana. Boom. Now the question becomes... Oh, damn. Base strike. Keep on going down that. Hmm. Submarine operations, convoy escorts, carrier primacy. <clears throat> That's a little bit aggravating. Oh, we got quite a bit here. But we still can add more. Just to make sure that it goes well.
Yes, sir. Orders. Obviously, I'm worried most about them jumping into the Midwest. Not sure if I told you this, but I added a bunch of planes and they're all in the air. Probably a total of a thousand. And the only place I'm crossing the border is over here. That's the most industrialized part of Canada. Ready to move. You have permission to go. Commands. So do you. Forty-five ships in one fleet. What the hell are you guys doing just sitting there? Did something happen that canceled? The Atlantic Destroyer Fleet. Something happened that canceled your orders? can't reach your area you're supposed to be in. Let's try this again. The Atlantic Destroyer Fleet. I think she put a lot of destroyers in there. Trade relations with Ireland. Let's see what this is. Political power plus 10. Okay. Okay. For how long? Wish I knew that. It's going to piss someone off, you watch. Ready. Ready to move. Ready, sir. I'm putting our division down here. Once I conquer Cuba, Attention. I will be sitting pretty, but I need to do this. Maintenance. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. You shouldn't have permission to go. Command. You should have permission to go. Ready, sir. That will take. This will take care of our chromium deficit once we conquer Cuba. But I'm going to have to worry about our steel deficit. Create the USMC. We've already created the USMC. Walkie talkies. I don't think we need that. We've already gone through all that. Support artillery bonus. That'll be nice. Once we have the Listen up. extra Can I still add you? Probably not, because I gave you permission to go. Right, what if I cancel your permission to go? Yes, then I can add you. So, 29 total divisions should crush Cuba with relative ease. And he has 32 divisions, but they're nowhere near the quality of mine. I'm sticking with that argument. You're not going to convince me otherwise. Of course, I also need to worry about Colombia. 
Venezuela has got oil. I can always use more oil. There's aluminium here. There's rubber here. I have to get all the way down to La Plata to get steel. United Communes of Brazil. What the hell is that? That comes. It is. Lower echelon support. Let's keep on working our way down there. As soon as I start declaring against uh, Canada, all of his divisions that are overseas will come to me. I still haven't even started on my Mountaineers. Can't believe the Philippines got independence on me. That was a nice little stepping stone for me. I'm, uh, I'm glad I put in extra effort in Guam. In fact, let's increase our effort in Guam. Five, four. Airfield to three. Let's make it a ten. The infrastructure a ten. The port's already a ten. Should be able to hold out against almost anything. And they're returning again. They disappear, they come back, they disappear, they come back. And we are almost done with our wall. Did I say that? I did. Our defensive wall. And we have plenty I repeat, plenty of civilian factories. So let's boost it up. Maintenance Company 2. Zuka. All right, let's do some of these. Definitely. That one was maintenance company. Recon. Now let's do maintenance company three. We've already playing them. They're, they're already deployed. We haven't even... Orders. Oh, now we need to decide what to do with these guys. I say... Right there. They're going to have some hellacious generals. 
They've been fighting serious wars for a while. The extra effort you have to take with your political power actually slows the game down. Because you can't concentrate just on your expansion. You always have to realize you're going to lose political power when you occupy something. And if Haiti had something, I'd occupy them too. But they really don't have that much. Even after conquering the Dominican Republic, they still don't have that much. Which is actually pretty shocking that they won against the Dominican Republic. I still need more divisions on this front, on this army. But he feels good. Ready. He feels really. I would not have expected you to feel good, but okay, dog. You say so. And all of the damn steel is over here in Europe. Got the lightning. Let's just go after the Thunderbolt. I mean, the Liberator. Start production of the lightning. We will switch up to the Thunderbolt. Now, what in the hell was that one? That is a new sound. I have no idea what that sound is. Said I needed 3,000 support equipment. I got 2.95. It's probably gone up. But let's take a peek, shall we? Engineer company. Increases our soft attack. A hard attack, our defense, our breakthrough, 3,500, we'd end up 550 in the hole. Hell with it, I'm going to do it. We're at peace right now. United States Army Air Corps adds more building spots. Battlefield Support Doctrine, Strategic Doctrine. I go for the doctrine that I don't get any bonus for. That's so me. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Navy. I am still set up for the big ships. Yes. So I can go ahead and start planning on my last level carrier. Get it a little bit early. Not, I really won't be getting it early. It's almost 1944 anyways. Alright, how's our support equipment looking now? Minus 700. Alright. Do. You. Train. Yes, I know. All in. 
Yeah, you would not be affected. Orders. You're not affected too bad. Train anyways. Ready, You're not affected. Train. Attention. Train. Orders. And train. Some of these units suffer damage. It's going to take them a little bit to catch up. Ready. He should be catching up any second. Yes, sir. Good deal. By the time we're ready to attack Cuba, he will be ready. Now what about Ike? Ike still is waiting on two more divisions. I almost don't want to train all these guys for two divisions. Our situation is looking decent though. Despite the political power issues. Question becomes Do I want to cut back to Sultan of Egypt declared war? Okay, the communists have lost. The Union of Britain has capitulated. I actually, got enough. To go ahead and cut back to export focus that will save us a third of what we're trading away and we got lag and we're out of time there we go 200 to cut back to limited exports I'm gonna just go ahead and do this now what did that do for us Eliminated our deficit except for chromium. Perfect. But we are out of time, so come back tomorrow. See if Canada decides that they're going to launch a sneak attack on me. It certainly looks like they're up to something. I need to get more divisions ready. Hey, I've got a couple more divisions ready. Let's put one over here. Ready to move. One over here. And until I see y'all again next time, bye-bye.